push it. Let's go. You push it now. Hello everyone, VG Shine here, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64 DS. In the last episode, we totally kicked Bowser's ass for the third and final time. We got all 150 Power Stars, we rescued Princess Peach, and we got all but one of the of the hidden rabbits. And this is why we are outside playing as Luigi because. When you go outside with uh, 150 Power Stars, you'll notice that the grate that was uh, covering this hole before is now gone. So if we jump in, we get ourselves a cannon. And with this cannon, we can blast off onto the top of this castle. And yeah, the reason we are playing as Luigi is, besides the, besides the normal rewards you'll get, which is, well, three one-ups and like a, and like a flower box, we will also get the last rabbit for Luigi when you're playing as Luigi. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, grab this rabbit and uh, that'll be the last rabbit in this entire game. Yep, no more rabbits after this. What? Minji Mustache Man caught me? I really have to train harder. Or, you know, find, find a better place that gives you more leg room. I'm just saying. All right, you can have this key. Here, take it. And yeah, sorry if I'm not being as uh, loud and obnoxious as I usually am. Uh, my roommate uh, has requested that I keep my voice down for this video. But yeah, I wanted to get this video done and out of the way because, well, because then I'll have I'll have the the entire week's videos done, and for once, I'll be ahead of the game when it comes to like uploading content. Um, anyway, you retrieved the key to the drawer of uh, Princess Tulsa's rec room. Now you can play new mini games. And yep, that is the entire purpose of this episode. And and uh, future episodes after this. Playing mini games. Because yeah, that's pretty much the only other thing we have left to do in this game. Besides you know, the multiplayer, which uh, we're not going to show off. Because, well, the virtual console version only allows for one player. It really sucks, but uh, what can you do? Anyway, there are three ways to access the mini games. One is through the main menu. One is through talking to the toad at, in the back room of uh, Princess Peaches, like like the room before the Mario painting. And the third way is after you catch a rabbit, you can simply choose to save and play mini games. Which, uh, since it's given us the option, we may as well do that. And yeah, in case you don't know, if you go to the top of the castle in like the original version, you would you'll get you'll get Yoshi, who would give you like a uh, hundred lives and uh, and a new triple jump. But uh, in in this version, you just get three lives and and Luigi's last rabbit. Kind of lame, but uh, well, I, I I knew many games. I guess it's fine. So yeah. Yeah, like I mentioned before, uh, each rabbit you catch like unlocks a new mini game, and uh, there are seven rabbits for each character. So, so, and you get two mini games to start off with for each character. So in total, we have thirty-six mini games, and we are gonna play through them all eventually. But uh, for now, I think what I'm planning on doing is like. Yeah, yeah, each character has their own set of mini games, and for each episode, I'm gonna go through the entire set for each character. So, for this, for this first episode, we'll be focusing on Yoshi's mini games. So, let's start with uh, this wanted poster here. Alright, this one is called Wanted. It's easy to get lost in a crowd. Find the one who disappeared and touch him. There he is. So yeah, this is basically a the Mario version of Where's Waldo. You just just find the character on the touchscreen and uh, just a point, just to tap it. And uh, yeah, and for these mini games, I'm gonna have the touchscreen focus. So yeah, because yeah, you'll be able, that way you'll be able to see exactly what's going on on the bottom screen. All right. So basically, we're trying to find Mario, and we tap him, and then we get additional time for to look for the next character. And of course, as you progress, uh, things get a bit trickier. More, more, more characters pop up, and, it, and they become, and they, and it's easier for the wanted character to uh, blend in. And yeah, right now we're trying to find Luigi, and 
I tend to f I find that the finding Luigi is much more difficult than uh, finding the other characters. Okay, seriously, where is he? Where is he? I can't find him. Oh, I did so much better in my practice run. I I actually got past like uh, 100 uh, 100 uh, levels. Don't look at me like that. It's true. Well. I mean, I guess it's a good thing we stopped early because, well, we have a lot of mini games to go through. But yeah, as you go through this mini game, the, the heads do actually move, so that makes things, as you can imagine, that, that makes things a lot harder. And yeah, next mini game. It's if you ever have, this is something you've probably maybe done in your childhood, unless you didn't. It's called Loves Me. Play this mini game for advice on your love life. Pluck the petals to find out how your crush feels about you. Alright, I'll do just that. Loves me? Loves me not. Loves me? Loves me not. Oh. And yeah, you can play again to see if maybe your crush uh, changes, changes her mind. Or his mind. I mean, yeah. Really? Okay, one more time. Vigi <sighs> Shine Pro Tip, don't let a flower get you down. Alright, moving on. Next up, we have this one that looks like a ghost is uh, pulling on a rope, and it's called Hide and Boo Seek. Rub the touch screen where the bo where the boos are hiding. For the first 15 levels, you get three seconds to find them. After that, you only get two seconds. So yeah, so yeah, you gotta pay attention to like where the boos are, and then once the lights go out, you gotta rub it until you find the ghost. And I failed already. Yeah, I thought that uh, after the screen went black, they stopped moving, but nope, they keep moving. All right, let's let's try this one again. All right, this time I'm gonna pay actually pay attention. So. Alright, let's go out, we gotta rub, rub where, they, where the boos are, and yeah, once you rub all the boos, then you basically clear the level. And then, yeah, as you go on, they'll add, they'll start adding more and more boos, and they'll get faster and faster. Alright, and yeah, piece of cake, because we're awesome, and we're actually paying attention. We just shine pro tip, pay attention. Alright, and I think this time we're gonna have three boos, yep. All right, you got, just gotta keep rubbing out that touch screen. Oh no, I lost one. Oh! And yeah, you have to get them all or else you fail the level. So yeah, just right now I'm doing less than Staler, but uh, that's okay. We still have like 33 other mini games to go through. All right, so what's next? Oh, I'm, I'm fairly good at this one. This is called Puzzle Panel. Match the touchscreen picture to the touchscreen. The... Uh, uh, wow. To the top screen. Touch a panel to turn over the surrounding panels. Harder levels will take more turns to solve. So yeah, so basically, when you, when you, when you touch one of the panels, these surrounding panels will, will switch to the other side. And you, what you're trying to do is you're trying to match the picture on the top screen. So let's see, it looks like all we need to do is uh, t tap the tap this mushroom here and boom clear and yeah as you go on you're, you're you'll be required to take multiple turns so yeah but right now what we need to do is to take one turn and these one turn puzzles are fairly easy you just gotta just gotta be smart about it all right let's uh i'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and see how far i can go so this is another one turn and yeah just top the top right corner easy and yeah, these, these patterns are randomly generated, so you can't just uh, memorize stuff. You have to actually pay attention and uh, know what you're doing. Alright, so let's see. Hmm, so this one's a two-turn puzzle, which is going to be tricky. I think maybe this one, and then this one. Yeah, I am awesome. Alright, I believe this one's going to be another two-turn. Yep. Hmm, this is a tricky one. Hmm. Is it 
this one and then uh, yeah I I screwed up I already know I screwed up and yet you do get three tries to get it right so don't get discouraged if you fail once all right oh I think I got it yeah all right, that's uh, five clear so far. I think now the puzzle is gonna get bigger. Although you, although you, although you don't, you, you only need to do one turn. So yeah, these these bigger ones are will be easier. Will be yeah, some levels are easier than others because yeah, it's to me it's it's not the size that makes it difficult. It's the number of turns. So yeah, these 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 bigger pu puzzles should be no problem if you're only doing like one turn. Once we get to, once, but as we get to higher, then uh, these puzzles will get trickier. I think I've said that, 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 that like maybe five times now. And, um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna speed this up until I fail. Ooh, three turns. Now this is gonna be tough. Okay, um... Ah, there we go. Awesome. Hmm. Yeah, these three turn puzzles are really difficult. And, yep, yeah, I definitely screwed up there. Okay. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Level 13, doing really good so far. But yeah, three turns is very difficult. And I think I already screwed up. Yep, I did. Alright. Calm down. Concentrate. Uh, nope, that's not it. Hmm. Yep, this is probably where I'm gonna fail. Wait. Hmm. I feel like I can't. Oh, wait. Yes, got it. Yep, these three turns are definitely are definitely pushing my thinking cap to its maximum to its maximum like capacity. Like, and yep, already screwed up. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this one, guys. But I don't think my brain can handle this. Let's see. Hmm. Fix this side, and then... Up. Yep, I failed. Damn it. Alright. And, yep. We're done. Let's see. I think we got, like... Yeah, we got 13, which is not, not too terrible. If you can beat that, uh, why not, why not uh, post that in the comments along with a picture? Because, yeah, picks or it didn't happen. That's a video shine pro tip. Alright, next one I believe is a memory me memory game involving sound. It's uh, called Boombox. Each time you open a treasure chest, you'll hear a sound. Open two, two chests with the same sound, win by matching all the pairs. And yeah, there's like a... F yep, there's... Yeah, there's a there's a there's the there's a vent making sound like probably gonna get picked up by the mind. This is probably gonna make things a bit harder. All right, here we go. I can barely hear the sounds. This is gonna make this a lot more difficult than it should be. Let's... All right, this one and this one. All right, we got it. 
And yeah, that Mario on the top screen kind of creeps me out, but uh, yeah, he's just staring, watching you, judging you. Alright, we got a wah. Alright, that's lucky. And yeah, right now you have like uh, three, like three, three misses uh, for each stage. But I believe as you go on, things get. Yep. Now we have like eight treasure chests. So you, so yeah, this part of it is luck, like, uh, and part of it is memory. Nope. Oh, found one match at least. Alright, that was lucky. Yeah, like I said, it's part luck and part memory. Let's see, I, I don't think... Ooh. I'm guessing the sounds are going to be a bit diff more difficult to distinguish. Yep, those, are, those sounded similar. I believe this one matches with this one. What? Really? Okay. Yeah, I I couldn't really tell. Like the volume was too low on the TV. Oh well, we still got a high score, and uh, Mario's happy about it. Yay! All right. What's the next mini game? Oh yeah, I believe this one is like basically like a like it's kind of like one of the, like those games where there's like a ball and three cups. So you gotta guess like which ball, which which cup has the ball. Tox box shuffle. Oh no, Yoshi's trapped in a tox box. Find which one he's in to save him. Well, do. And yeah, I'm I'm fairly good at these types of game, games. Yeah, just gotta focus on like which one has the Yoshi. And yeah, they do get things do that faster, but um, I'm pretty good at this game. I think I'll make it very far. Alright. And yeah, I believe uh, now it's going to get a bit faster. Yep. But hey, I, I, still, I still know where Yoshi is, because I'm awesome. And Mario's happy. And yeah, it looks like you have two tries to get it right before it's game over. I don't know if it means you get to pick, pick two boxes, or if it, like, reshovels after you missed the first time, but, uh... We'll figure it out, because I plan to keep playing th these games until I get a game over. And ooh, oh yeah, that's right. Now there's two Yoshis you need to focus on, because yeah, sometimes they'll ask you to find a blue Yoshi, sometimes they'll ask you to find the green Yoshi. So yeah, BG Shine Pro Tip, try to focus on like both Yoshis if you can. If you can't, then, well, sucks for you. Alright. Okay, I know which two have the Yoshis, but I don't remember which one, which color is what was which. I, yep, I got it right. No problem. All right, five so far. I yeah, I think I'll uh, speed this up till I get it wrong, or if something else interesting happens. Okay, I kind of I kind of lost them there. Wow, this is really really fast. No. Oh. Okay, I kind of just guessed there. I mean, I knew where the green Yoshi was. I just didn't know where the blue one was. You know, I just realized you could actually play along with some of these games if you're watching this on YouTube. So, yeah, you can like you can like play along and tell me in the comments like which ones you got right, which ones you got wrong. And yeah, that one was a guess because I wasn't really paying attention that much. Uh. 
Yeah, I kind of lost on purpose there because it's uh, it's so I only have like uh, 20 minutes before I have to before I have to end the recording and well, we still have plenty of mini games to do and uh, I'm kind yeah, I'm kind of low on time so uh, gotta, gotta go on and uh, show off the rest of the mini games. But yeah, 30 is uh, still a really good score. If you can beat that, then uh, let me know and post a pic. All right, next up. So yeah, we have three more mini games to play with Yoshi. The next one is uh, called Witch Wiggler. Touch the wiggler on the touch screen that matches the one on the top screen. Choose carefully though, he has a terrible temper. So basically what you do is uh, you look at the top screen and uh, see the patterns on Wiggler's body, body and uh, match, the, match the pattern with the one with, with, with one of the ones on the bottom screen. So yeah. So basically, yeah, basically, it's all about like uh, looking at the patterns and like noticing different patterns. Like the like the second to last one on the top screen has like uh, two little circles, and uh, and so yeah, you gotta look out for that. And yeah, and yeah, the one below, the one I picked, had like two of those uh, double 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 circles, which the top top screen only had one. And uh, yeah, basically, it's basically about pattern matching. And uh, yeah, if you're good with patterns, then uh, you you should be good at this game. Of course, now is the point where uh, now the wigglers are uh, moving about, and uh, and obviously that makes things a bit trickier. But uh, hey, as long as you keep a cool head, you'll be fine. And yeah, every right guess you get like adds five seconds to the clock. So the better you do at the early stages, the more time you'll have during the harder stages. And yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna ma either speed this up or, I don't, I don't know, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stop talking and, uh, concentrate and, uh, see how many points I can get. Oh yeah, if you make a mistake, you lose 10 seconds, which, considering how much, how little time you have in these stages, he, this can be, this can really break you, because yeah, now I only have 6 seconds to find the right regular in this stage, Ooh, I don't think I can do it, guys. Oh wow, I did it as a miracle. And yeah, you, you pretty much get the idea. Just uh, find the find the wiggler that has the matching pattern, and uh, there you go. Yep. And yeah, if you fail, they get pissed off at you, like wigglers do. And yeah, at twelve, not my best run of this game, but uh, it's okay. All right, next up we have. Uh, I don't remember what this one is. It's a uh, mix a mug. Now I have the slots on the touch screen to form a face. Win more coins by matching the center face and the slots in the, to, to the ones on top screen. Alright. So let's uh, tap the middle one first. And yeah, we're trying to match uh, Wario's face, so... Come on, let's get the hat right. Alright. Now let's get the mouth right. And yeah, this one always makes me anxious. Urgh, yeah. Six coins, level two. And this one, like, if you if you fail, you'll just lose coins, and if you lose all your coins, then uh, the game's over. Yeah, the face is always the hardest part. Always makes me the most anxious. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start off the bomb with the bomb one first. All right, and maybe I'll do the top one next because it's harder. All right, and no problem, because we're awesome. Yeah, let's see how far we can get. And they added Princess Peach's face, I just noticed. That's gonna make things a bit harder because, well, there's more faces to work with. All right, now it doesn't have to exactly be in the middle, it just has to be on the, on the screen. At least for the first one. The, the, the second and third ones, you do have to match it. And I failed. And, yeah, you get the idea of this one. We're, we're pressed for time, so uh, let's move on to the last mini game, which is... 
basically a harder version of the of the puzzle game we did previously. Puzzle Panic. This minigame takes Puzzle Panel to a whole new level. Put on your thinking cap. You're gonna need it. Yeah, this is basically, it's basically the same thing as a lot as like the game we played before, except uh, there's more. Except this one has more panels. And yeah, that's basically the harder version of the same thing. I don't think I need to really show this off. I Me mean, up. Uh, yeah, you pretty much get the idea of this one. Okay, so uh, that's the end of uh, Yoshi's mini game. So uh, join me in the next episode where we take a look at Mario's mini games. See you guys next time. Bye bye.